Welcome in, y'all. We've got an inner and outer thigh workout that is going to be killer in the best of ways. This is going to be an all-standing workout that's really going to work your balance, so it's also going to work your core. Now, if you're a beginner, you need a little bit of help with that balance, make sure that you have like a countertop or a chair, something to slightly hold on to. That way you can still work effectively into building the strength in your legs, and then over time, you can try it center forward floor without holding on to anything. It's going to be a great workout, so let's hit it. Let's start by taking those feet out nice and wide. They're going to be turned out because we're going to drop into a plie, and then we're going to sit nice and low, alternating lifting the heels. So we're going to take a little pulse and lift. Nice and steady pace right here. Just know you're gonna start to feel the burn in your thighs. We're hitting inner and outer today. So even though we're pulsing down in this position, and you should probably start to feel it right away, you could tell by Brooke's face, I want you to still keep that lift in the upper body, okay? So imagine like there's a string connected to the top of your head, and it's pulling you up to the sky, lengthening your spine. So we're really keeping that lift in the upper body. So when we have that better posture, it puts a little less pressure on our joints as we stay committed to these plie pulses. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Take your feet up. We're gonna have them right underneath our hips. We're starting with one leg. It's gonna lift to the side. Exhale, breathe. Lower back down. Slow and steady here. You can keep your hands in your hips. You can open them out to the side if that helps you balance. And I want you to just exhale, breathe as you lift. Little squeeze. So again, it's hitting the outer thigh right into the obliques here. Squeeze. Four. Three, keep standing tall. Two and one. Good, shake it out. We're gonna switch to the other side. Flex that foot, start with that lift and lower. Now at any point, it's not about trying to go as high as you can with the leg. You just wanna feel balanced. So as the leg lifts to the side, you don't want your body to topple away from it. You wanna stay strong like a tree that is rooted into the ground, growing tall, and it's just a branch that's extending out to the side. Exhale, breathe, lift. Core is being challenged here for four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna start by pointing one toe forward. We're taking a rond de jambe, which means we're gonna lift, take it around to the back, and then swing, bring it around to the front. I'm gonna show a modified version. I'm always gonna tap my toe to the front, lift to the back, tap it to the back, and then bring it to the front. Brooke is doing the advanced version. Her leg stays off the floor, hovering the whole time. It's nice and low, so it's not high, just a few inches off the ground. And this is hitting inner thigh, wrapping all the way into the outer thigh as you go to the back. Keep it reaching here. Again, wherever you feel most balanced with those arms, your choice. Give me two more and then we're gonna hold it to the back. Hold it to the back, little bitty lift with the leg. Teeny tiny pulses, up and squeeze. You've got it, four, three, two, one. Lower down, shake it out. Ooh. My feet are speaking to me too. They're like gripping in the floor, trying to balance. Let's switch sides. We start with that other leg forward, swing it around to the back. Rond de jambe, and then swing it to the front. Take your time, nice and steady. So 
focus in. This one really requires a lot of core. So imagine that string that's pulling you up towards the sky. So you're right on top of that supporting leg. Breathe. I am wobbly today. <laughs> These twins are really challenging me right now. Let's go. Give me two more. We're gonna hold this next one back. Little bitty pulse with the leg. Up and lift. Teeny tiny pulse. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down, shake it out. Woo! Okay, we're gonna switch legs, take it to the front. Do me a favor and a slight turnout to a first position, heels together, toes apart. All you're going to do is extend your toe forward. You're gonna lift, flex, point down. Lift, flex, point down. All this is doing is working the inner thigh as you lift and then it's stretching all the way into the feet. One thing you wanna do is make sure you're not leaning back on this. So you're right on top of your leg. Exhale as you lift the leg. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. That's it. Can you feel that working right in the inner thigh? Notice how she's rotated from the top of the hip. So her inner thigh faces the sky the whole time and that really gets into that muscle right there. So it's super isolated. Yes, two more. Lift, reach, point, down one more. Lift, reach, point, down. Good, shake it out. Ooh. I know, super sneaky. Targeting that inner thigh. We're gonna switch to the other side. Point that toe. Stand up tall, here we go. We lift, up, flex, point, down. Up, flex, point, down. Turn out from the top of the hip. Inner thigh faces the sky. Up, flex, point, down two more. Up, flex, point, one more. Up, flex, point. Good job, shake it out. Okay, let's keep both feet on the ground. Wide grand plie position. Drop down into that plie. Shoulders stacked on top of hips. Just press the knees back. So it's inner and outer thighs. I like to call this one the ballet twerk. <laughs> I say it in my classes all the time <laughs> because we all know what twerking is, but this is the ballet version. So it's graceful and it's just working on that press out and in from the top of the hips. Core stays engaged, shoulders stay stacked on top of the hips. Press, press, yes. Can we sit just a little bit lower? Ooh, yes, light up those legs. Let's go for eight, six, four, three, two, one. Take it up, shake it out. Woo! Two more moves for you. Right here, feet together, tick tock. So we're gonna lift side lower, then switch side lower. We did these in the beginning. Now we're just alternating legs. So you're really finding that connection through your core as you transfer your weight. That's it. Exhale, breathe, lift to the side. Keep standing as tall as you can. Grow a little bit taller, lift up, pull up. We're here for four. For three, for two, 
And one, good job. Take your feet together, first position. Give me a little plie right here and little bitty pulses. So inner thighs are opening out forward. Knees are going over toes. Little bitty pulses right here. That's it, feet are flat on the floor. We're creating a beautiful diamond position with the legs on these pulses. Thighs are fired up. Last little challenge right here, just lift and lower those heels. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Find the balls of the feet, squeeze. We're here for four, three, two. Hold the heels up, little bitty pulses down. Go eight. Seven, six, heel stay lifted high, five, final four, yes, three, good, two, and one. Oh my goodness, shake it out. Wow, legs were fired up. Mine were shaking like crazy at the end. I was like, don't fall out of it. I feel like that deserves a curtsy bow. We're gonna step it to the side. Give yourself a little curtsy bow, other side. Yes, curtsy bow. I hope you felt that work in the legs. This is a great one to come back to and go over and over again because it's gonna help you to really strengthen your foundation and your base all the way up through your core while improving your balance and improving your posture. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed today's workout and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.